second career Verizon IndyCar Series win, tying him for third all-time with Michael Andretti. Dixon spraying the champagne as the winner on Saturday. Then qualifying this morning, just before 11 o'clock Eastern Time, in wet conditions. Yes, that front wing on Tony Kanon's car is askew, a crash on his outlap. Kanon will start in the last row of the grid. Others who had difficulty in the wet qualifying session included Ryan hunter Ray. First to trip into the turn three runoff, then this spin in turn number eight. His fastest lap in qualifying was docked from him for bringing out the local yellow. hunter Ray will start in 10th position. Joseph Newgarden, last year's champion, in turn 11, into the tire barriers. He brought out a red flag, lost his two fastest laps. Newgarden will start 19th. No such troubles for Alexander Rossi. He won his second pole of the season. He's with Jan Bikas a few moments ago. And Alan, this comes at a perfect time for Alexander Rossi because, Alexander, you said yesterday the one thing you were lacking was clean air. Now you have that clean air. What's the game plan? Um, yeah, just get a good start and, and really try and, and open up the gap as much as possible. I think everyone, well, I know everyone's starting on reds around me, so um, it'll be a, a kind of a similar situation to yesterday. Who can make the reds last the longest? Um, hopefully we'll be in a position to be able to do that again and, and uh, just have clean air the whole race and be able to control it. Now, what can you learn from your teammate Marco Andretti? Because he had a similar situation. He led the whole first stint, but then was leapfrogged by Scott Dixon. Knowing that now, what can you do differently? Try and open up a bigger gap. I mean, I think Marco and, and really all of us um, were concerned about how long the tires were going to last. So in hindsight, I think you would have pushed harder um, because the, the Firestone Reds held on for quite a while.